So a few weeks ago I made a video where I talked about what would be, in my opinion, the perfect Halo game. I talked about how Halo has such a huge potential with its large, expansive, and diverse sandbox that for some reason isn't being used in modern games. With every official release, we see many weapons being cut from the game. Many are forgotten to pass titles and never seen again. Take for example the Plasma Rifle, Plasma Repeater, Brute Shot, Spiker, Mauler, or Needle Rifle, to name a few. Or what about the vehicles? Do you remember the Spectre, Revenant, Prowler, or Cobra? The list goes on. Even certain enemy types have been omitted from the recent games. Spec Obsoletes, Engineers, Drones, Flood, and as controversial as they are, even the Prometheans. Over the years, all of these have failed to appear in the most recent Halo game, even going back to the Bungie days. But what if they didn't? What if we had a Halo game where many, if not all of the weapons and enemy types were there for us to interact with? What if there was a Halo game that, instead of offering gimmicky microtransactions and a grindy progression system, it instead offered true innovation, pitting us against everything the Halo universe has to offer. That is exactly what this mod is doing right now. In this video, I'd like to talk about Mythic Firefight specifically. There are other mods that are doing similar things, but this one really caught my eye. What this mod does is, is it adds loads of new weapons, armor abilities, and enemy types to Halo Reach in a way that feels natural and like a further extension of the base game, with every gun functioning with a quality not seen in many other mods. We get many guns that were not included in Halo Reach, such as the Brute Shot, Mauler, Halo 1 Assault Rifle, BR, Storm Rifle, Carbine, Combat Evolved Fuel Rod Gun, and more. On top of this, we even get the MA5K Assault Rifle, a weapon previously only seen in a few of the books, and this thing is fantastic. It feels like a perfect cross between the Battle Rifle and the conventional Assault Rifle. The fact that the creator of this mod went to the level of detail and dedication to bring a gun from the books honestly amazes me. And then we have the M73 LMG, a weapon previously only seen in concept art, and it's now in the game, and it feels so good to use. I wish this weapon was in the base game of Halo Reach because it fills a really niche spot in the weapon sandbox that I think was before left empty, and it plays a role as a heavier and slightly more cumbersome version of the assault rifle that has the potential to dish out massive amounts of damage. Along with this, we have a variant of the vanilla Halo Reach assault rifle, the MA37, that fires grenades from an underbarrel mounted launcher. The amount of guns this mod adds to the sandbox is amazing. And then last but certainly not least, you can literally use the legendary sword from the logo as a melee weapon. It's pretty cool. New weapons aside, the developer has also given us new armor abilities while revamping some of the existing ones. We now have both sprint and a more passive speed boost ability where you can receive a temporary increase in run speed without lowering your weapon, allowing us to fire on the move. Then there's a melee berserk ability which allows us to do more damage to our enemies and works really great when you're backed into a corner. There's also a shield overcharge ability that basically lets the player grant themselves a temporary overshield, which I personally really like. I think it's a good way to make the overshield feel more immersive, as in past Halo games it was only available as a power-up, which to me always felt a little bit too video gamey, and but now we have a lore-friendly way to use overshields. Now, these aren't the only new armor abilities, and they're not the only new guns that I mentioned. Those are just some examples. I just didn't want to spoil the entire thing and spend too much time talking about them. What I really want to talk about next, though, is the enemy types. So, Halo Reach was controversial in some ways in the way it portrayed elites, giving them new armor to show their rank rather than just relying on the traditional blue, red, gold, and black colors for distinguishing the ranks. Mythic Firefight is a return to form in part, where now we have the standard red armored majors as well as many others. We've got the gold elites, and the same translates over to the other aliens. What I think this mod does best is take concepts and game design choices that worked best in the past and further expands upon them without changing what doesn't need to be changed. You now have classic armor and the new armors as they were originally portrayed in Halo Reach, side by side. Nothing is removed here, it only adds. In addition to this, you've also got all kinds of new types of enemies. Blue shielded grunts, gold jackals with stronger shields that they hold, and then they even have those shield elites from the original CE trailers from way back in the day, just to name a few, and it really adds a lot of variety to the gameplay. Combine this with the new weapons that both you and the AI can use, and it adds a lot of much needed variety, making an over 10 year old game feel quite fresh and new. I always thought it was kind of boring how back in the original Halo Reach, Firefight could only be played with up to four players, and at best, all we got in terms of AI support was three ODSTs in the level Installation 04, which was originally a DLC. All the other levels felt quite bare at times. With Mythic Firefight, that is not a problem. 
In addition to being many new enemy types, there's also now friendly AI ranging from Marines, ODSTs, and then even AI-controlled Spartans in addition to player-controlled Spartans. The Covenant will still always outnumber you just like in vanilla, but adding more AI really sells the idea that you're fighting with your back against the wall at some of the last strongholds on reach against an unbeatable enemy horde. Oddly enough, having a few AI to fight by your side really makes you feel like the situation you're in is helpless as you watch each and every one of your fellow soldiers fall to the hands of the Covenant as even your best Spartan companions end up surrounded by the enemy and guns down. You really get a sense of survival that I personally feel the original firefight was lacking. I feel like the original firefight could kind of get to a point where it just feels monotonous and you're like you're killing the same enemies over and over again. That's not the case with Mythic Firefight. It feels really immersive. The environment building this mod does is incredible, even going as far as to add some new voice lines for various enemies. You can even uncover a few easter eggs. Um, those of you who are familiar with the talking grunts from the original Halo games will really appreciate them. At the moment, I think that Mythic Firefight is by far one of the best mods on the workshop. It really brings out the best aspects of Halo. If I had to complain, my only real issues with the mod at this point is multiplayer doesn't work very well. I've been trying to play it with people, and it seems to crash whoever isn't the host computer four out of five times. But as far as I'm aware, the developer is working on fixing that. This mod is fantastic, and I truly can't give it enough praise. With Workshop support only recently released, I can't help but feel that this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of Halo modding, and I look forward to seeing what can be created in the future. Imagine all the new stuff from this mod on new massive maps with vehicles, or maybe even a firefight versus meets invasion mode, where teams of eight players fight each other in AI in a massive battlefield, not unlike the original Star Wars Battlefronts from back in the day. Needless to say, I'm quite excited, but that brings me to the end of the video. If you liked it, please remember to leave a like on it. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you want to see more Halo content like this. If Mythic Firefight looks like something you want to try for yourself, I encourage you, just search it on the workshop and give it a download. I highly recommend it. If it's the only mod you ever install, I highly recommend it. All that being said, I just want to say thank you for watching and thank, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Mythic Jacqui for making the mod featured in this video. As always, just have a great day, go play some Halo mods, and stay safe. Goodbye, guys.